Well, I knew this day would come one day, and I was working on my Mac OS Tahoe compatibility video after WWDC 25 was just uh, wrapped up. And we knew that Apple is winding down Intel, but it's finally happened. Apple today, at the platform State of the Union, has told us that Mac OS Tahoe is the final supported release for Intel Macs. And that puts about 20 years of OS X support and Mac OS support from 2006 to 2026, which is next year, which will go until September when 27 comes out. But I don't know, I guess just seeing this image here kind of makes it final, right? And this is where I would love for you to share your thoughts in the comments below. I always like to read your thoughts and this is a time when we can all kind of discuss this. Like, what does this mean? We knew it was coming, but like, just again, seeing this image here, I know Intel Max get a lot of, you know, jokes about, oh, they run too hot or they're just old and slow. But, you know, when you've used Intel Max for so many years and they are still useful today, it's just sad to see. And you can see this in the platform State of the Union. I'll show a quick clip here. And I'll, we've completed the transition to Apple Silicon across the entire lineup. So your apps now depend on these features too. Apple Silicon enables us to achieve all things that were previously unimaginable. It's time for all of us to put the focus and in innovation there. So Mac West Tahoe will be the final release for Intel Max. Again, I'll put a link to this so you can watch this in the in the description below. This press release here from January 10th, 2006 shows the very first Intel Mac with a Core Duo processor with Tiger. And this shows how far back Intel support really goes. And again, just seeing this and seeing all the announcements about Mac OS Tahoe this year, it really just kind of sets the stage. And what does that mean for Open Legacy Patcher? We talk about that all the time. I'm a huge fan of, of the Patcher for Unsupported Macs. Um, how long will that go? Other questions are, well, how long will security releases for Intel Macs go? Just because Mac OS 27 is not going to be released for Intel Macs or be supported for Intel Macs next year, um, what about security support? I'm hoping that we'll get that same two-year security support that Apple has always given us. So, for example, this year, Mac OS Ventura will drop off. So this year, it'll be Mac OS Tahoe supported, Mac OS Sequoia, and Mac OS Sonoma. Mac OS Ventura will drop off. So next year, I'm hoping, again, they'll release security updates for Mac OS Tahoe and Mac OS Sequoia. If so, that'll be great and these machines will still be usable for still years to come. But the writing is on the wall that Intel is now dead. And I'm glad that Apple's telling us. They're not letting us get surprised next year like we were thinking that they were going to do. So I had to look it up. I remember a while back I had, or I got the idea to, to search and because I couldn't remember when Apple actually let developers and customers know that PowerPC or the G5 processor would no longer be supported in future versions of OS X. For example, Snow Leopard. Apple did not announce it like they did here a year early. Um, if you look at this picture here, it wasn't until the system requirements for Mac OS or OS 10 Snow Leopard developer preview were released that it says you must have a Macintosh computer with an Intel processor. So that would have been pretty shocking for G5 users like a Power Mac G5, your PowerBook to see this. So again, people even say today that Apple surprises us with these things, but they did it back then too back in 2009, so, or 2008 even, for the developer preview. I like that Apple is letting us know and communicating with us about the future release, letting developers know, letting users know, and informing us that Tahoe is the final release. 
And what is that going to mean for sales of newer Macs, sales for Intel Macs? If we look when the Mac Pro 2013 was released or was discontinued from support in Mac West Ventura, those machines were still going for a good amount of money, even if were between five and eight hundred dollars for the trash can Mac Pro. But once the support dropped off, even though Mac West Monterey was still getting security updates for it, all of a sudden that was like the green light to say, we're done, time to get rid of these models. And we saw companies and users and developers and creators start to put those onto the secondary market or eBay or Facebook Marketplace. And the prices just completely dropped because the market was oversaturated with these Macs. And that turned, about, turned out, if you were looking for one of these, this was great for you. Um, but if you've just purchased an Intel Mac, a newer Mac within the last couple of years, you might still think like, eh, I'm still a little upset with that. But you have to, to think back, the Intel Macs are getting more support than even the PowerPC did all the way in the end. We only, they only got two releases. We've got from 2020 Big Sur and Mac OS Monterey, Mac OS Ventura, Mac OS Sonoma, Mac OS Sequoia, Mac OS Tahoe, five operating systems with Intel support. So I would make the argument that we actually got more support and Apple did hold support all the way as long as they could. So if you have an Intel Mac, it's still going to be fine. It's still going to work. It's still going to uh, get security updates. But now we know that Apple is no longer using Intel as a um, keeping them around. So again, I'm curious to know how you feel about this. Again, a, a lot of people with a newer Apple Silicon Mac are like, hey, I don't care. So long, Intel. And that's that's totally fine. But for users that have had Intel Macs, and they're still working fine today, you, you've seen my videos, they're working great across the board, right? And I, I'll be honest, I, I'm kind of sad here because, it's, again, it's just so final. It's done. It's, Apple's let us know. It's done. So, again, let me know uh, your thoughts on this. I just want to hear it. Or, you know, I wish they were going to get another year of support. Or, actually, it's a bittersweet thing. Let me know. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this. This is why this communication here is, and you know I'm a huge proponent of value, um, affordability, and keeping these Macs, these Intel Macs, running as long as possible, especially with Open Core Legacy Patcher. Uh, I still think the, the future of the Patcher is still very bright, and it'll be used uh, well into the future. But we just don't know what's going on with Tahoe right now. And I'm going to get to that later. But again, let me know in the comments what you think. So long until you've served us well.